Washington on October 10th, 2016 are held at critical times as the world is facing a food and energy price crisis, not to mention the rising finance cost. Founded in 1946, the Middle East Institute is the oldest Washington-based institution dedicated solely to the study of the Middle East. It is a nonpartisan think tank providing expert policy analysis, educational and professional development services, and a hub for engaging with the region's arts and culture. Well, uh, Minister of uh, Transportation Kamil Al Wazir uh, said that the ministry is working for uh, ex execute executing a comprehensive plan in order to upgrade uh, Egyptian ports nationwide pursuant to a presidential directives uh, to turn Egypt into a trade and logistics hub. Waziri, uh, Wazir uh, made uh, the remarks on Saturday during a visit to the West Port Said port uh, where he inspected the Port Said container, container and cargo handling uh, company and followed up the progress of some of the development uh, projects uh, pursued by the Ports Economic uh, Authority. He said that the Ministry is working on building uh, and upgrading new extending uh, over uh, 35 kilometers long and ranging between 15 to 18 meters deep along the Red Sea coast uh, in Safaga and Ain Sukhna and the Mediterranean uh, coast in Alexandria, the Miata and Port Said, taking total length uh, of quays uh, at Egyptian seaports uh, to 76 kilometers. In addition, a total of six kilometers long breakwaters are under construction, the minister said, adding that the ministry is also working for deepening uh, shipping uh, routes uh, to increase port annual handling capacity from 135 uh, to 400 million tons. Well, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have this phone with uh, Dr. Uh, Mohammed uh, Al Sadiq Auf, Professor of Transportation Engineering and Project Expert. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Well, uh, Doctor, what is the importance of transforming Egypt into a center for global uh, uh, trade and logistics? Well, uh, it was a very important uh, visit uh, that uh, has been. Uh, uh, today, uh, the, in, this morning, the Minister of uh, Transport visited uh, West Port Said uh, port uh, and inspected the Port Said container terminal of uh, the Ministry of Transport and the projects of the Economic Authority that are being implemented uh, within the Port Development Plan. Uh, the Minister uh, also stated that uh, a comprehensive plan to develop and raise the efficiency of the Port Said Container Terminal, uh, expand its activities, and raise its uh, competitivity, uh, competitive uh, capabilities, I mean, to cope with the development in the generation of modern container ships, uh, and increase the terminal's share in the container market in the Mediterranean uh, region uh, especially. Uh, within the framework that has been set, by the, the president for the comprehensive development of all Egyptian ports to set Egypt as a global center for trade and logistics in the world and within the framework of the Egyptian government plan to achieve integration among all Egyptian uh, ports. Uh, Minister of Transportation also, uh, uh, his visit include Borsaid Container and the Cargo Handling Company, uh, which is one of the holding uh, companies for the maritime and the land transport. Uh, this company, Container Station, is located on a very huge area of about 575,000 meters uh, square, and also it contains uh, 11 storage yards for incoming, outgoing, uh, transit and MBT containers and the common uh, warehouse. Uh, the annual capacity of the terminal is about 830,000 TEU. Uh, 
uh, also on the uh, sidelines of his tour, uh, Minister of uh, Transportation confirmed that uh, the comprehensive plan is being implemented to develop all Egyptian ports in implementation of the directive of the political leadership to make Egypt a center for trade and logistics. Yes. Uh, especially uh, the Egyptian target is to extend the total length of pairs of uh, Safaga and Sokhna uh, in the Red Sea and also in the Mediterranean Sea, Alexandria, Ramiata and Port Said will be about 76 kilometers. And the construction of three quarters to uh, to uh, break the waves from the harbor. I mean, with a total length of about six kilometers, and the yes. deepening of the shipping lanes to accommodate uh, about uh, four hundred million uh, ton <coughs> instead of uh, hundred eighty-five million ton annually uh, this year, and more than twenty-five million TEU instead of twelve million annually. Yes. Uh, last thing I want to state about uh, the Minister of Transportation uh, today, he has promoted and presented investment opportunities in ports to global uh, operators, and he succeeded in attracting uh, the attention of international shipping lines, as well as international uh, operators to work inside Egypt. Uh, especially in uh, this uh, field, which contributes uh, to competitive performance and the providing service with existing uh, stations, which bring benefits, uh, huge benefits, I mean, to the Egyptian uh, consumer uh, and facilitates the exporting uh, products and creating uh, multiple job opportunities in all areas of the country for the Egyptian citizen which will have the greatest impact on the national economy of Egypt and the development of the, the country. Yes. Uh, Doctor, um, uh, uh, what are the most important advantages and uh, benefits uh, that Egypt is going to get to benefit from being a center for global uh, trade? And uh, uh, what are the steps that the state, uh, uh, how do you evaluate, I mean, uh, the steps that the state is have already been uh, taking in order uh, to reach uh, to be a center for a global trade. Yes, uh, when Egypt will be a center of the global uh, trade, this brings benefits to the Egyptian consumer, especially, and facilitates the exporting the products and creating multiple jobs. The main target is creating uh, jobs opportunity uh, for the Egyptian uh, citizen. Uh, and also uh, to facilitate uh, the trading uh, market to import and export uh, easily more than uh, uh, now. Yes. Uh, Dr. Auf, uh, also, uh, what are uh, the most important uh, ports uh, that is Egypt have developed, uh, uh, the old ones, I mean, uh, and renewed? And what are uh, the uh, um, uh, names of the new uh, ports that Egypt have established recently? Right. Uh, the target of uh, Egypt is to extend the total length of uh, birth of all harbors uh, in the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea uh, for, uh, to activate uh, the uh, trade uh, uh, movement and to extend uh, the, uh, all these ports for more than 76 kilometers, as I just said uh, to you, and this will uh, increase and accommodate uh, the port for, uh, for, uh, for uh, 100 million ton instead of now, uh, which is uh, 185 million ton annually. Yes. This will uh, ha this will have positive uh, effect on the uh, economic situation of the whole country of Egypt. Yes, uh, Doctor Auf. Uh, also, what are uh, the most important uh, features and properties of uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, uh, the new uh, ports established recently by Egypt uh, in the recent years? Uh, uh, adding to it, of course, a new uh, technology. Can you explain to us uh, and give us more uh, details about this? Uh, well, uh, uh, all uh, these uh, uh, facilities in Egypt uh, will have the, the most uh, recent technology in the market. Uh, I mean, 
uh, around the, the world, uh, as a whole world. Uh, our uh, harbors uh, nowadays uh, will be de- developed uh, and will have uh, the most uh, recent technology around the world, I mean. Yes. Yes. So, Dr. Auf, uh, what are the sectors uh, or uh, the, I mean, uh, the ministries, uh, the institutes that are uh, participating in the development of the ports in uh, Egypt? It's very important uh, target for the uh, Egyptian uh, government to to develop uh, uh, all these uh, ports uh, in Egypt, uh, and the minister also. Uh, have great uh, attention for uh, finish uh, all this development in the, in a short time. Yes, uh, Dr. Auf. Uh, also, is there a difference between uh, the Red Sea ports and uh, the Mediterranean ports in terms of uh, the equipments? Hello. Sorry, I, I couldn't hear. You. Yes. Sorry. Uh, Yes, uh, can I repeat the question, please? Is there, uh, w- we'd like to know the difference between the uh, Mediterranean ports uh, uh, and the Red Sea ports in, um, uh, in the equipments? Um, no, there is no difference. There is no huge difference between the equipment in the Mediterranean ports and yes. the Red Sea. No, I don't think that uh, there is uh, much difference in the equipment. Yes. Yes. So what do we expect uh, in the, the coming, uh, the near future, in the coming years uh, after the uh, re- renewing and uh, adding uh, new ports uh, uh, here in Egypt? Uh, my, uh, I expect, yes, uh, I expect uh, that uh, will have uh, a positive uh, effect in the economic uh, situation. Yes. Uh, all these uh, projects uh, that uh, the government uh, have, uh, the, the main target of uh, them is to 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 raise raise the economic situation of the country. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Also, uh, thank you for your valuable information, Dr. Mohammed Sadiq Auf, uh, Professor of uh, Transportation Engineering uh, and Project Expert. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone, ladies and gentlemen. A short break, and I'm going to be back with you.